Sugira. Hey, what's up? I'm bringing the van around. You see me? Hmm? There he is. Where'd you go? Welcome aboard. Where's Higashi? Already inside. I haven't noticed anything weird out here. Kido should be showing up any minute. And what happens when he does? We'll shove him in the van and drag him over to Charles. What? Higashi's arcade? It's not like we had a lot of time to think about it. We'll interrogate him once we get there. Right, Yagami-san? Yep. And speak of the devil. Surprised he actually showed. All right, let's move out. What are you doing here? Not sure what you mean. My agency is just a couple blocks away. It's strange to see you here, though. What brings you out to Kamurocho? <laughs> well, I... Maybe meeting a seductive journalist? I understand now. You're the ones behind all this. What will you do with that video? Nothing. If you give us what we want. What is it, money? No, we're after something else entirely. What are you going to do to me? We're just taking you for a little trip. No. No, I'm afraid you're not. Hmm? You forget I'm a powerful man. Huh. Who are these assholes? Health Ministry thugs, if I had to guess. Oh. Do they have them all over the city or something? Delete that video, Yagami! Stay back! Don't come any closer! <laughs> Look where all that power got you. Nobody's running to help now. Not the ADDC, not the Ministry of Health. I've been waiting a long time for this moment. If you kill me, think what will happen to 89. Their research will come to a screeching halt! <laughs> Don't worry. Nobody's killing anybody. But I suggest you learn a little humility. I never said it wouldn't hurt you. Come on. We're out of here. It's been a while since I did something like this. 
Feels good getting back in the group, you know? You always did have a habit of stripping them down. Well, yeah. Everyone's the same underneath all this bullshit. Scientist, doctor, whatever. Listen here. It's not too late for you. But if you don't release me... You'll have your assassin hunt us down? I'll take extensive legal action against you. Huh. Who knows what'd happen if you did that. I might accidentally let that video loose to the press. <sighs> what? If that doesn't sound good to you, start talking. You're gonna tell us everything you know about 89. I'm ready when you are, man. Or you wanna rough him up some more first? This is gonna be a while. Guess we can take turns heading out to grab food. Hey, remind me what we're trying to get out of him? Where we can get proof of the 89 experiments. Whether or not we actually get that proof depends on us. Why me? What do you people want? Who are those guys at the batting center? Well, I... <laughs> you mentioned how powerful you are. Did you hire them to protect you? <sighs> Out with it already. Quit acting like you got any goddamn dignity. You've made me a very happy man today. Why don't we have some real fun now that the interview's out of the way, hmm? My little minx. Who would have thought the scientist who was going to save the world would have turned out to be some pervy asshole? Your name's going to go down in history if this gets out. And not how you're hoping. Stop. I'm begging you, please. Who were those thugs at the batting center? Hitmen. On the Ministry of Health payroll. Ichinose's payroll, in other words. That's right. I think you mean, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ichinose-san knows I've been abducted. More of them could rush in here any minute if you don't release me. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, we've got this whole fighting thing pretty down by now. <sighs> Next question. It's about what happened three years ago. <laughs> huh? An Alzheimer's patient at the ADDC by the name of Wakusan was murdered. His body found buried far out in the mountains. At the time, Shinpei Okubo was thought to be the killer. But the truth is, it was an unforeseen consequence of 89, which Shono had administered to this Wakusan. You knew, didn't you? What? Cat got your tongue? Guess you're about to become internet famous then. Wait! Answer me, Kido! Yes! I knew. Who told you? When? How? I'm sorry. I can't say any more than that. If I did, I... Please, just give me some time to figure things out. Time's one thing I don't have. Shinpei Okubo's about to get executed for a murder he didn't commit. What? I need to get every last bit of information out of you right here. I'll even resort to torture if I have to. Torture? You'd break the law over this? What? That doesn't sound fun to you? Of course not! Then start talking! <laughs> Nobody's gonna come help you now. I'll give you a chance to think it over. You better be ready by the time I come back. Kido's already a broken man. My guess? 
At this point, he's just desperate to save his own skin. Yeah, I guess so. Maybe you should take a breather. I'm sure giving Kido some time to stool make him realize talking's the only option. We'll keep an eye on him in the meantime. Thanks, Sukiura. I appreciate it. Hey, even a guy like you needs to take breaks. You've been up and out all freaking day. Good to go, Yagami-san. Kido's had enough time to think. Ready to talk yet? We're waiting. <laughs> yes. Three years ago, Shono killed a patient by experimenting on him with 89. When did you find out? Right after the press conference. The one where we announced 89 to the world. Shono told me himself. Just thinking about it makes my blood boil, even after all this time. I have some concerns about 89. At the moment, it's only effective on mice. I'm well aware of that, yes. But I'm confident it will work on humans, too. No. I'm afraid you're mistaken. What's this now? We just had a fantastic conference. This is no time for doom and gloom. Just sit back and try to relax. You deserve it. <clears throat> oh, and by the way, Ichinose was thrilled with what he saw. One day, we're almost getting shut down, the next we have a massive budget. And if you can make consistent progress, AD-9 will head to clinical... At this stage, I'm afraid clinical trials would be inadvisable. If we try, all the test subjects will die. Are you sure? How can you say that with such confidence, huh? Shinpei Okubo was actually innocent. What? Innocent? Why are you bringing this up now? The court ruled correctly. Waku-san, his murder didn't play out like you think it did. The real cause of death... ...was none other than AD-9. What do you mean? That murder was... It was a secret clinical trial for AD-9. I gave him the injection, personally. <gasps> you did what?! Please, I... I had to take this opportunity. The whole world is waiting for this cure. But when I injected him, he let out the most horrible scream. These hands... covered his mouth. I tried to make him shut up. Which means you... You're a murderer. <laughs> How could you be such a damn fool? What are we going to do? Shono spent the entire afternoon talking up your drug to the press! With my goddamn name on the research! If you hadn't held that press conference, the ADDC would have been done for and you- Why didn't you tell me this before? I needed you, Dr. Kido. I couldn't let the center get shut down. The AD-9 project would have been terminated. But you know, this has been my entire life's work, ensuring that AD-9 would save the world. <sighs> this whole thing is preposterous. I'm going to the press! There's no need for that. Huh? Don't you understand? 
Director. As long as we finish AD9's development, there won't be any issues. Your name will go down in history as the man who saved the world. Not to mention the money. But if you really insist on revealing the truth, both of our careers would go down the drain. And you have more to lose, Director. Shono, you're mad. Is that all Shono told you? There's gotta be more. <laughs> Wakusan wasn't the only person Shono killed, was he? No. He needed Shinpei Okubo to take the fall. And murdered Emi Terasawa to accomplish that. So you did not! Hey! <laughs> Fuck that! Save it, Sugira. We're not done yet. What happened next, after Shono killed Emi? <laughs> Don't you already know? You had Hashki murdered. I didn't! It wasn't me! Hashki was digging around trying to find something wrong with 89. You and Shono didn't like that too much. But you needed some help to take care of him. Someone else who wanted to protect 89. That person was... Ichinose from the Ministry of Health. <gasps> the guy who founded the ADDC made it a place all the old guard ministry execs could retire to. Yes. Shono and I went to Ichinose san and pleaded with him to help us. After all, he's known for being well versed in political matters, both above board and otherwise. So, we told him everything. About Waku-san dying in the experiment. About Emi Terasawa. Every last detail. Without hesitation, Ichinose-san agreed to help us with the cover-up. According to him, protecting AD-9 was top priority. Hence why he decided to silence Hashki. Ichinose-san knew he was Kajihira's spy from the start, and acted accordingly. Meaning he's the one who first dragged Hamura and Kuroiwa into this bullshit. Real barrel of fucking monkeys. With Hashki out of the way, all that was left for us to do was complete 89. But we realized something. If we entered clinical trials and another patient died, our dream, too, would be dead. The ADDC would be no more. And all our sacrifices would have been for nothing. Your sacrifices? How can you say that with a straight face? You're not the ones who died for some bullshit drug! <laughs> Go on. Through all my hesitation, Shono kept pushing. Aggressive to a damn fault. He said we couldn't be afraid of failure if we really wanted to finish 89. That we needed to keep experimenting until we succeeded. He also said the only way to speed up development was to keep conducting clinical trials in secret. Shono was adamant about that. Why? Think about it. 
If we could hide the fact that our subjects were dying, we could continue experimenting despite the risks. In order to do so, we needed a way to quickly procure and discard test subjects. With that, it would only be a matter of time until AD-9 was complete. And those test subjects were the Kyore clan men. Ichinosi-san listened to every single one of Shono's requests. My only role in all of this was obtaining the funds required. And so, money flowed into the ADDC from the Ministry of Health. Money which I gave to Shono, allowing him to build a secret lab in Kamurocho. A... what? It's where he carries out all of his human experiments. Huh? Where exactly is this lab? I'm not sure of the specific location. I try not to come between Shono and Ichinose-san unless absolutely necessary. So that lab is where all the killings happen, where those Kyori guys were slaughtered. If anywhere's gonna have evidence, it's there. You sure you don't know where it is? Detective Kuroyo, I would, of course. He's not as talkative as you, though. In that case... There was another person involved in setting up the lab. Who? A subordinate of Ichinose-san. I believe his name was Ishimatsu. I've heard that name before. He was the middleman between Hamura and Shono. Where is this Ishimatsu guy? In Kamurocho. There's a Ministry of Health office up in the Millennium Tower. Apparently, he'll be in tonight. Wait, the Millennium Tower? That's where they oversee Shono's secret lab. Nobody knows the office is there. The sign out front even has a different name. They really got a place like that? Well, Ishimatsu knows where the lab is, yeah? This'll be easy. <laughs> Just gotta strip him down and force him to talk. Hold up. I've got a better idea. Hmm? First, we give this Ichimatsu guy some kind of reason to go to the lab. Then we just follow him from the Millennium Tower. Not bad. Ichimatsu himself will lead us straight there. But how are we gonna get him to go? Well, we'll, uh... We'll get our buddy Kido here to give him a call. Huh? Say something about how we're closing in on the lab. Tell him you need him over there to stand guard. You know, that might just work. And what? You think I'll just agree to this? You better. If you don't want to spread in your little video, that is. <sighs> that settles it then. What does Ishimatsu look like? Uh, he's in his 50s. Always wears a gray suit. A sh short man. Not that much over five feet. Ah, and he always wears gloves. That could be any regular-ass old dude in this town. Anything else? There may be photos of him on the internet. You seriously telling us to just search him? Yes. Er, well, not exactly. Try looking up Vice Minister Ichinose. Ishimatsu might have ended up in a photo of his at some point. Hmm, gotcha. Could take a while, but I should be able to find something. Kaito, Higashi. Mind hanging back here with Kido? Sure. What about me, then? You get to tail Ishimatsu with me. You're good at that kind of stuff, right? Guess so, yeah. Well, let's head to the Millennium Tower. Be safe, you two. I'll send you a shot of Ishimatsu once I've got one. Great. Let's move out. Let's go, Yakuza-san.
Hello? Yo, it's Kaito. I just sent you the photo. Later. So this is Ishimatsu, huh? Gray suit, gloves. You should be able to tell when he's leaving from here. Once he takes us there, we'll be ready to raid the lab. You good to go? Yeah, let's do it. We're in position, Kaito-san. Tell Kido to make the call. Gotcha. It's time for your big acting debut, buddy. You there, Tak? Kido's call went off without a hitch. Ishimatsu's on the move. Great. Now we just have to find him and follow him. Don't fuck this up, man. Don't worry. Me and Sugira got it covered.
Hmm. Hey. The gray suit, gloves. That's him. Oh, uh, no one. Yeah. Thankfully, that makes him stand out even more. No one. <laughs> hey, how about a few drinks? 
tonight. No, no, I'm in a hurry. Yes. Mm hmm I understand. I'll be right there.
no one. Huh? No one. Monsieur Lee? It's a love hotel that closed down years ago. Perfect place to set up a mad scientist lab. Kaito-san, it's me. You find the place? We've got a building that looks the part, at least. We're gonna head in. Be careful, man. Yep. Let's do it. Right. We going? Jeez, it's dark. What's the deal with this place? Hey, do you think this counts as trespassing? More or less. We going? Who the hell are you? Yagami-san, what do we do? Only one thing to do. We fight. Those weren't the last of them, Yagami-san. 
If anything, that was just a welcoming party. They'll know we're here, too. Probably have weapons next time. Guns, worst case scenario. Who are these guys, anyway? Bums off the street, if I had to guess. Ichinose must have offered them a lot to do this. Yo, you guys okay in there? Yep, we're right on track. They've got guards, too. There's gotta be something here. Something like a secret lab, maybe? It'd be the perfect place. It's so dark, you could carry a corpse in here and nobody'd ever know. Think you two can handle it on your own? Actually, I just thought of something. Can you call Mafuyu for me? Get her over here. And tell her to bring the cops. Huh? Why? Well, think about it. We're trespassing, yeah? Even if we do stumble on Shono's secret lab, the court would never accept evidence found illegally. And calling the cops makes it all fucking better? Not exactly. Even they can't investigate without a warrant. Then why the hell are you trying to get Mafuyu shot over there? I've got an idea. Just talk to Mafuyu for me, okay? We'll keep looking for the lab. Got it. Dark. Hold on. We shouldn't go in there without a light. Who knows what's gonna be in here? Let's be careful. Sugira, you're gonna give me a heart attack. Sorry, sorry. <sighs> what is it this time? Sugira? This isn't funny, man. Where are you?
almost there. Nice. Almost there. Nice. Got it. Segura! The hell? Can't you see I'm trying to have some fun here? <laughs> I give him three minutes, <laughs> then he's just another body! One man. <laughs> Don't mention it. Come on, let's keep going.
How do you like this? <laughs> Now's my chance. the line. This is it. This has to be Shono's secret lab. <gasps> you two! What are you? Shono. I <sighs> didn't think I'd find you working at the scene of the crime. Guess our timing's pretty good. Sugira. Get some video of this place. Mm -hmm. uh, stop that! So all those Yakuza who got their eyes gouged out, you did it here, huh? Can't wait to see what turns up. The cops are gonna have a field day in this place. The victim's fingerprints, hair, bodily fluids, DNA. Can you imagine? Just how long I've been waiting to see evidence like this come to light. I... I don't know what you're... Huh? Huh? Uh, 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 Segura, what's wrong? I'm sorry, Yagami-san. 
I've been lying to you about everything all along, until now. What do you mean by that? I'm not actually ex Kajihira. That wasn't the truth. Neither was my name. Yagami-san, I... I actually know you from a long time ago. That's the whole reason I approached you. My real name, Yagami-san? Fumia Terasawa. Terasawa? I'm the younger brother of Emi, who this bastard murdered. <laughs> Sugiro! Nobody move! You in the hood! Drop the knife! Now! You're under arrest for attempted murder. The cuffs won't be necessary. He's no longer a threat. Don't worry about your friend. We won't bother prosecuting him. Oh yeah? No crime was committed here. But sir, we can't just... You need to get forensics in here. There's a good chance a series of murders took place in this very room. And what brings you to say that? Kido told me about it. Unfortunately, we'll need a stronger premise than that. They would never issue a warrant on such grounds. <laughs> well, then it's a good thing I have a better reason lined up. Which is what? Trespassing charges against a rogue ex-lawyer. Which makes this... a crime scene. Guess you'll have to block it off. Preserve the evidence, you know? Yagami-kun... How clever. You don't mind being arrested if it means helping your investigation. I suppose this was your plan from the start. That's why you had Fujikun get the police involved. <laughs> you surprise me. Out of the way! Let me through! Vice Minister Ichinose! This place is under the Ministry of Health's jurisdiction. I demand you leave here at once. Huh. I didn't realize you guys were in the love hotel business, Vice Minister. It's a laboratory. Our top secret research facility for AD-9. You have no idea of the fallout this could cause. Then let's find out. If you didn't notice, I just trespassed. Meaning, this whole laboratory is a crime scene now. Isn't that right? Hmm. I'm not sure that's going to work, Yagami-san. At least four people were murdered in here. I'm sure of it. The proof's right here in this room. So please, I'm begging you to help me here. What a conundrum. You see, none of that is my concern. What? Hey. You should be thanking your lucky stars we haven't beaten the crap out of you by now. <laughs> <sighs> Shit, almost makes you feel bad for the poor guy. <laughs> Even if he deserves it. You smoke? Man, you're as soft as ever, Kaito Anaki. Humor me. According to you, this is a secret research facility for AD-9. Yes, Vice Minister? That's correct. Hmm. Our nation's government has invested countless resources into AD-9. It would seem rather foolish if we were to stop its momentum over this. I'm willing to overlook it for AD-9's sake. What? But, sir... Many thanks. Truly. I am in your debt. Of course, Vice Minister. Now, 
Everyone is to evacuate the premises at once. I hope you can continue your research into 89 without any more disturbances. Let me assure you, Dr. Shono, this will not happen again. Is that so? Meaning... You're working for 89 too, aren't you, Chief Prosecutor? It's time for you to go home, Yagami-san. Just how long have you and Morita been working together? AD9 has many influential supporters. There's no stopping our momentum. Bullshit, there's not. I am not gonna let you win that easy. Ah, oh yes. I should let you know that I just received a call from Director Kido. Kuroiwa sends his regards. Kuroiwa? Apparently, he rescued Kido. He's been freed. Local thugs have made Kamurocho too dangerous for him. 